only uncle to me, David to everyone else. Now he is called nothing at all. Grief is different when you're a child. Death on purpose is unexplainable. I remember sitting in the window seat, staring at the dead bee cradled there in the dust, wondering if Uncle David was on someone's windowsill somewhere. Silence has become deafening, and words are easy secrets. I kept a notebook with the small things I caught in snatches of conversations, recited them to myself, a husky whisper under a fort of sheets. David chased tropical storms even during the winter. David was a quiet genius. David liked to stand on his head for a switch of perspective. David had a hard time. David loved you. David is a name that locked itself away in my throat until I heard the word suicide, a name encanted like rain, a name only existing in the blank stares, the absences, the past tense, a name that became brick to build a home when the family house was forsaken, pain contained in every wall, painted over an oatmeal beige, a death painted over a life. They say each family has room for one rebel, say oppression lives in its silences. I know that I have stitched together my own tragedy with sloth already fraying, but I can't be the driver for this hearse full of grief. The want for information combines with the inability to ask for it.